What's going on guys, uh, Christian here, and I'm bringing you guys a quick After Effects tutorial on how to get a flashy effect on your text. It looks like it's wiping across your text. You may have seen it in montages and other things, but I saw it and I've always wondered how to do it, so I was more or less just experimenting and I've come up with a way of how to do this. And here is what we're going to be making. Yep, it's that simple, man. Just really quick. Just it's only it's less than 100 frames, but as you can see, it looks like we're getting a nice flash effect effect going over our text. And all it is is one picture duplicated and a mask on it. And what we're just gonna go. It's really simple. So let's get started. I'm gonna make a um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a new project just because I don't want any of this other stuff in there. No, I would not like to save it. I'm gonna import. Um, that file right here yes I'm gonna drag it out into the comp area and first thing you want to do is duplicate it so you want to have two copies out there then you want to take your top copy hit G to get out your pen tool and just make a rectangle over here it doesn't have to be perfect just make a rectangle and then hit V to get out your pointer tool and then refine the rectangle to I don't know whatever you like I'm just gonna keep it semi I need to make it taller but we'll do that in a minute and then double click on the yellow line that allows you to customize it even more if you wanted to slant it or if you wanted to do whatever we're gonna put it about right here and uh, next thing we want to do with the top layer still selected go effect generate fill and effect stylize glow glow was off the screen but look it's just glow uh, we're gonna up this to about 1.5 not 14.5 1.5 and we're going to lower the threshold to about 30 and next thing we want to do is we want to come down here to this and hit M this layer and hit M that way it has the mask path and then you want to hit F and unlink these two um, values and make this about 20-25 we're just going to say 25 and this is on the x-axis which means it's going to be feathered on the x-axis so the next thing we want to do is we want to come up to our fill and make it white and uh, now what we need to do is we need to animate the mask pass so if, if we click the layer again and hit M MM I'm sorry hit it twice we can keyframe it move forward you know about 75 frames and then click and hold shift and drag across and uh, let go when it's on the other side that way we are creating this flash I'm sorry this you know effect this wiping effect that's the basics of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity of this a little bit just to make it not as um, deafeningly bright. Um, I'll say about 60 looks about good. And if we want to, yeah, look at that, man. It's that simple. It just gives it a real professional sort of just look. Now if we play it back, it looks really nice. But uh, that's the basics, folks. Um, you know, like I say, you don't have to, like I say all the time, you don't have to follow my exact guidelines. These are just what works for me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you on the flip side.